Hello Aquarius and welcome to my channel. Sorry, uh, this is the Oracle of Zoraya Utranaya and today I'll be doing a reading for you for the week of May the 12th to the 18th, 2024. I've already cut your decks and I have shuffled your cards seven times each utilizing the numerology of the date May the 12th, 2024. So let's dive right in. Sorry, I have allergies that are really bothering me so I apologize if I'm like sounding nasally and uh, scratching my eyes a lot. Okay, the King of Wands. I'm really enjoying this deck. I just bought it. It's the Tarot of Mystical Moments. I already have the Oracle of Mystical Moments, and this deck is just so beautiful. I really love it. So I hope you enjoy it too. I'm uh, noticing all the different imagery just as much as you guys uh, for the first time this week. So the King of Wands is a king that uh, amplifies anything that he is working on, okay? He leads with his heart. He is very passionate. He has impetuous energy. He is very action-oriented. This is all about the fire signs, okay? This is all about the fire. So uh, putting things into action, okay? He is bold. He is assertive, and he gets what he wants, okay, if he puts his mind to it. Um, he's able to break things down into smaller components and then figure out what is the best course of action to get things moving, get things done, okay? He is also a very good manager and he is also a good entrepreneur. And with his respects to any sort of endeavor like that, he takes care of his business or anything, any sort of project he is working on like a baby. And he does, that's not to like uh, be facetious or anything like that. Um, he just nurtures things that uh, he, because he puts his heart into it and he doesn't do things for no reason and whatever he does put his focus on to he does with his whole entire being and nurtures everything to existence okay so uh, let's get a little bit more context to see what's going on here for you ah six of wands okay so we got more fire energy here Six of Wands is an indication of something being victorious, okay? Uh, the normal Rider Waite deck, like this is just so beautiful here. Let's just hold on a sec. This is a hummingbird and this, um, this lady here, she's riding the hummingbird and she's like, it's like a carrot, you know how they like, you put the carrot before the horse so it, like you can entice it to continue moving and like provide it with motivation because it thinks it's like eventually gonna get this carrot. So it's she's using like this like flower for the hummingbird. It's really beautiful. So the, on a normal rider weight deck, we see a person like a man who has gone to war. He is like the leader of an army and he has been extremely victorious and they are having a parade for him and uh, everyone is celebrating his accomplishments. OK, they and. Um, he is on a high horse, but he deserves it. And he, so, you know, being bold, being assertive, stepping into that power of the King of Wands, going after what you want, my dear Aquarius, and knowing that you are going to be victorious. Okay. People are going to be celebrating you. You, uh, if you, maybe this, this week, you, this energy is very potent for you to go after what you want. If you're applying to jobs or or uh, have ideas for um per, for get um putting yourself out there with respects to maybe starting a YouTube channel or if any sort of endeavor that you are seeking out to get attention for is going to be very victorious for you this week. So definitely utilize this um, energy for that. So if you're putting your resumes out there, um, updating your LinkedIn, updating your social media, um, starting to plant seeds with respects to any sort of project or endeavor that it would require or like would be beneficial for you to get attention for that you definitely want to put yourself out there this week because it's going to be proving to be very successful for you. Okay. Be, be mindful that like, okay, on a normal Rider way deck, there is like a person that is in the crowd of this parade that is for this general and it, they are jealous, okay? They are like throwing shade at this person and uh, know that no matter what you do, my dear Aquarius, there's always going to be people that don't like you, okay? And that's none of your business, right? 
you're not going to please everybody all the time. So just focus on what you want to do and screw them. Okay. Uh, that, that is more of a, a reflection of what they are going through at this time. It is not a reflection about you. Um, so you just do you, you just step into your power, step into your true authenticity, my dear Aquarius, and don't worry about what other people think. Okay. Uh, that's just going to lower your own frequency. Just focus on sharing your gifts and your talents and your skills and abilities with the world. A lot of people are going to love it. A lot of people are going to celebrate you and you're going to be getting a lot of attention for this. Okay. So pursue whatever it is that you want to pursue. Uh, maybe it's a promotion at work. Um, uh, maybe whatever you've been doing at work is being noticed by the higher ups. And this is a perfect opportunity for to ask for a raise, perhaps, or ask for a promotion or say, I noticed that that position is opening up. Like, can I like, what would you think about me applying for that? Um, if you don't ask, right, like step into this king of wands energy. If you don't ask a question, what's the answer always going to be? No. Asking about something is a very easy thing to open up opportunities and open up avenues of communication because sometimes the answer will be yes. Or sometimes people would say, I never know you were interested in that. But yeah, I definitely think that you would be a good fit for this. Okay. You always try. Just try. You just got to step into this bold and assertive energy that this King of Wands is. You're going to be victorious. You're going to be successful. You're going to get a lot of attention. Okay, and you're going to be driving your destiny forward. You're controlling your destiny here. That's what I'm getting here. I don't know. So, all right. Like you are putting the carrot in front of your own horse. So you are navigating your victorious ways. Like you, you are working with fate kind of thing. I don't know. All right. Then we have the nine of wands. So all wands energies. Okay. This is a very beautiful card here as well. So the Nine of Wands can signify, well, it does signify like a wounded warrior. Okay, you see here, it looks like she's been stabbed a few times, probably nine times here. Um, and, and so don't let your past disappointments and past traumas and past situations that we're hard to go through your hardships and your trials and tribulations. Don't let them impede on your boldness and assertiveness to go after what you want now. They should be your fuel and what drives you to move forward. Okay. Once you've healed uh, any sort of trauma or situation or just hardships or relationships that didn't work out or people fuck, fucked you over and like, you know, friendships, like, you know, don't forget about these things. Like you heal from them, you move on, but you shouldn't forget about them because they made you who you are and don't regret anything either. Despite how much it might have hurt, despite like if you learned a lot about yourself um, and you created those boundaries because of these things, like that's what happens when you heal from things. You learn about yourself. Hardships and, and suffering is what makes us grow as people as hard as that is to swallow, okay? And you learn how to create healthy boundaries when you heal. You learn how to... Uh, to put yourself first and you learn how to love yourself and you learn how to navigate your way forward, keeping your best interest in mind and not allowing people to take advantage of you. That's, that's when you learn your lessons. That's when you heal, right? And you want to make sure that you never do those things again. So, but that should drive you forward. All of these scars are there to remind you of what, how strong you've become. And you see how the, the rose is beautiful, but it also has its thorns, right? And these are your boundaries. So utilizing all of your past trials and tribulations and challenges to blossom into the beautiful rose that you are Aquarius, but maintaining those strong boundaries moving forward and that is how you are going to assert your dominance how you're going to assert your boldness and go after what you want 
because now you are showing the world how you expect to be treated and they're going to celebrate you and that you are going to be victorious in whatever endeavor it is that you are pursuing because you have those boundaries and you don't put up with bullshit and you go after what you want. You are not being apologetic for who you are. You are stepping into your own true power, your true authentic self. And if whatever it is that you're pursuing, you're being told to uh, persevere, to keep going and do not turn around. Keep throwing things at the wall and seeing what sticks. If one thing doesn't work out, don't just throw the whole can in the bucket. I know that's not how you say it, but that's what I'm saying. <laughs> Sorry, I laugh at my own jokes sometimes. Uh, don't throw the towel in the bag or whatever it is, okay? Um, just pivot and try to think of other things, so that, like other ways that you can go about making things work for whatever it is. There's not just one way of doing things, right? Let's get some clarifying cards. With the King of Yeah, with the King of Wands, we have the Three of Swords. Now you see here, I was talking about healing. I was talking about healing, past trials and tribulations, and challenges and traumas, right? And this is a card that can be, that signify that you were disappointed before. Things, probably things have let you down. People let you down. Your work has let you down. Relationships, friendships, family, the universe. Okay. But you're using this to light that fire inside of you. This is a card. I don't, you're not getting more disappointments here. This is a card about healing. You need to take these swords out of your own heart. You need to heal. In order to move on so if you haven't done that you have to face your shadows do some shadow work but i feel like you already have you're already healed and you see this is with the king of wands here and look at we got fire in the heart here too he's right in the heart like the the you are you are let um utilize sorry this glare is bothering me you are utilizing all of the all of the hardships and disappointments in your life to to, you're like, I'm going to show them who I really am. That's powerful, right? You are leading with your fiery, passionate heart, and you are going after what you want. And you're, be you're beating the drum to your own life. With the, you're, you're marching to the beat of your own drum. Now you are in control, right? You know what? You're not letting anybody else control your life. Go after what you want. Aquarius, you got a lot of fire in you. Use it. Use that passion you have for whatever it is that you're pursuing and go after it. We have the Four of Swords next with Six of Wands. Okay. So there are blessings coming in for you. Okay, like whatever it is that you are pursuing, you know, that glare, sorry, whatever it is that you're pursuing here and be and like being celebrated for, like this is the universe blessing you after the period of time that you have been healing. Yeah, you have been healing. So you see how she's like putting healing energy on this gentleman here. Uh, that is the universe. That is you doing this to yourself. You have been healing. You have been resting, recuperating, and healing from, from this, from these disappointments, right? You see now, these are not gaping wounds anymore. They are scars, but they are healed, all right? And um, on a normal Rider Waite deck, there is a gentleman here that is that is in a, like a chamber, and he's been, he has been resting, recuperating, and healing from the past, and all of this has been in good faith because whatever's coming in is a blessing for you. Because on the normal Rider Waite deck, on the on the stained glass window, there is a like a pope or a priest bestowing blessings onto a person, and she's healing and him, and she's bestowing blessings upon the him. So you've done a lot of healing work, Aquarius, and uh, 
you, you're being pushed to persevere forward. You're going to be victorious. You're going to get a lot of attention and utilize, utilize your lessons and your, your, your past to, to, to light that fire, to tap, tap into that boldness and fiery passion to, to move yourself forward. You're going to be successful. And then with the nine of wands, we have the two of spears. The world is your oyster. The world is your oyster. You have unlimited possibilities here, Aquarius. Okay. You you might even be hearing from, you might be getting messages from um, far away. Offers coming in for partnerships, business partnerships or love maybe um, from uh, somewhere other than where you live. Okay. It could be across the world, across the country, across the city across the province or state, whatever. Uh, but there uh, is some sort of partnership here or some sort of offers coming in for business, something like that, okay? Uh, but you know, you've done the healing, you're utilizing, you're persevering, you're moving forward, you're getting attention, you're tapping into your inner passions, your drive, Putting things into action and the world is your oyster. There's unlimited possibilities and potential here. Very interesting reading. I love it. Okay, let's end off with an animal spirit card. It's called Owl. Oh, this is a beautiful card. Look at this. Look at that card. The Owl. Choose a magic. Choose to know the truth because you can. Open your inner vision. You can see through deception. You've learned. Let the past go. Mm. And make room for a better life. Yes. Rise up. Magic and wisdom are your birthright. Wisdom, learning, protection, warnings, messenger, magic, night vision, silent flight, Revealer of secrets and shapeshifter. Owl is the messenger and the revealer of secrets, the totem of oracles and seers. Owl sits on their shoulder and is their advisor. When our owl flies into your life, know that a time of unveiling is at hand and the truth will be made known. Change is on the wind. Owl medicine can help you release the past and fly into a better future. Release it, but don't forget it. Owls are creatures of the night. Their silent flight and superior vision make them supreme hunters. They capture the prize. If they cross your path repeatedly, it is a warning to review your situation and see where deception is lurking. Like that person in the crowd, right? To see an owl can be an omen that a profound change is coming. I'm getting like that person in the crowd, like don't, don't share all of your goals and your, and your, your, what you want to pursue with everybody either. I don't think everyone can be trusted. Okay. To see an owl can be an omen that a profound change is coming. If owl, owl is your totem, you are an old soul. You succeed with wisdom. No one can deceive you and you see into others' souls. Be sure to keep your knowledge secret. <laughs> Unless asked to provide counsel, trust sh should not be broken. The night is auspicious for our people. When the moon is full, you are creative and energized. You can see in the dark and appreciate life's magic. Ask your owl totem to sit on your shoulder and guide you. Become the conscious student of the owl. Embrace your gifts and fly with the master. Some things to keep in mind are, have you allowed yourself to be deceived? Is Owl asking you to release the past so you can change and take flight? Are you in the dark about a situation? And what secrets do you need to discover to know the truth? Releasing the past so you can take flight. Taking flight. Release the past so you can take flight. 
If this resonated, if this resonated with you, my dear Aquarius, please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel if that is something that you'd like to do. You can also hit that bell notification to let you know when I release new videos. And if you want a more holistic approach as to what is going on with your week, not only check out your sun sign, but also your moon, your rising, and your Venus. <sighs> Sorry, I make myself laugh a bit. I'm truly grateful for your energy. Please, um, thank you so much for watching, uh, and I hope you have a wonderful week.